Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome to Nanaba's Kitchen. It is a beautiful day out here today, and I hope you are having a fantastic day. So what do we have on the menu? We are making grilled tilapia, oven grilled that is, and we know that tilapia is fresh water fish. Therefore, it needs a platform to shine. How are we going to achieve that? By all the flavors we throw at it. So I am here in my garden. I have this pot that is sprouting bountifully with this fresh rosemary. So I'm going to take a spray of it. This will do. We have gathered all the ingredients we need, of course, with the main ingredient being the tilapia. I have four pieces of it and they are all whole, cleaned already, scales have been removed, and I just need to remove the mouth of that one right there. And then we have our aromatics. These rosemary have been washed and I also have my spring onions. We're going to use the green and the white all together. These are going to be all of, of the aromatics we need, including these right here, which I have pre-gathered. I need some ginger, I need some uh, shallot onions, and also some heat, and the fragrance of these chilies. These are ripened serrano chilies, and you can substitute with your habaneros, or even jalapenos. And then we also have some garlic, a few cloves of that. Now, we're going to roast these aromatics. And so I have poured in some olive oil into this pot. We need a substantial amount of olive oil. Why? Because it's also going to act as a nonstick factor in cooking our oven grilled tilapia. So first, our rosemary sprig is going to go into the olive oil. So I put that in there first. So the, the rest of them can weigh it down and keep it on the bottom because I really wanted to have contact with the bottom of the pot. Now for our spring onions, just chop them roughly. Now for my ginger, what I typically like to do is cut them into discs, okay, or tiles, if we want to be really technical here. Cut them into tiles, and it's cutting it across the grain, or across, or in the opposite direction of the strands in it. All right, that also goes in. Now we also need our shallots. I'm just going to cut them into half, just like that. And then in the oil, it goes. Now I also have my chilies. These have fragrance and they also have heat, so you can use the amount that you can tolerate, okay? So those go in, and then followed by the garlic. Okay friends, so we have our pot on medium heat for 15 minutes with the aromatics going to gently infuse their flavor into the olive oil. It's going to be the most aromatic olive oil you've ever encountered. Stick around, we're going to move to the workstation and work on the fish next. So our fish is like 98% already cleaned, thanks to our fishmonger. Only thing I need to do is finishing touch. I like to cut the mouth of the fish off just because that's how my mom taught me how to clean my tilapia. So to do that, I just use my shears, open the mouth, and snip it off, just like that. It's been gutted already. 
and the gills have already been removed. So now, so I'm going to make three incisions about an inch apart. These incisions are necessary to allow all those beautiful aromatics to penetrate the fish to the bone and cook it beautifully. Fish is so firm, you know it's very fresh. So when you press on it, it doesn't leave an indentation. It bounces right back. That's how you know your fish is firm. I mean, your fish is fresh. So it's been about 20 minutes total and we have a nice caramelization happening here. Look at those. And the oil is well infused with these aromatics. So I'm going to turn the heat off and let this cool down. Give it maybe 20 more minutes and then we'll proceed to the next step. beautifully infused our ingredients are nicely roasted so I'm going to retrieve those and they're gonna go into the blender now the oil goes in you can see how infused this oil is. I add about half of the oil and the rest I will reserve and use it for vinaigrettes. My beautiful people, so this is a quick little kitchen hack in my attempt to kill two birds with one stone. Here I have the remnant of the olive oil that's infused with all these aromatics and I'm going to just set it aside and use it later on when I need to dress a salad a quick light dressing or a vinaigrette or even dip some French bread into it it's just fabulous so there you have it it's just gonna sit and rest till I have use for it next step we need to season that is the next very important step so I have some crushed black pepper and some salt to taste and then I have my complimentary homemade chicken seasoning that goes in and you can substitute this with your bouillons okay you need that umami in this recipe now we're ready to blend turning them into a marinade like this makes it all the more special friends you have to absolutely take this route next and time. be sure friends please to use a healthy kind of oil you saw that I used quite a substantial amount and that was done on purpose 
because extra virgin olive oil is heart healthy and has the ability to increase your good cholesterol, the HDL cholesterol, and lower your bad cholesterol, which is the LDL. So that's like brilliance in a marinade. And I don't think I have made marinade as great tasting and as nutritious as this one right here. If you don't like tilapia, believe me, make this kind of marinade, roast your aromatics, and use your olive oil to have a win-win situation. Pour it onto your tilapia before you grill it. Let it sit for one hour as I am going to be doing here. And I'm telling you, you will have a change of heart. Brilliant. All right, friends. We're ready to grill these beauties. So what we're gonna do first is pour these vegetables. You know how I like to create that bed so my juices don't get wasted. They get caught in the vegetables as the fish grills. These become nicely caramelized and juicy. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. So I just have some bell peppers, some onions, and that's about it. So the fish now gets laid on the wrap. And I'd like to suggest really quickly that you can substitute the olive oil with a nut oil such as almond oil that's healthy too, or avocado oil. So whatever healthy oil you have readily available. Would the rest do. of the marinade I have in here, I'll reserve it for when I have to flip the fish. It is time for these beauties to go into the oven, which I have been preheating. Um, it's on the broil option. You all know I love using that because it's going to really create some really great caramelization on the presentation side of the fish. And then we're, at some point, we're going to retrieve it, flip it, put it back in. So I have left the remnants of the marinade. I'm going to use it and coat the fish or baste it when I flip it. So let's get going. And in the oven it goes for 15 minutes using the broil option. And if you watch my videos, you will know, usually when I am grilling my fish in the oven, I prefer to use the broil option. And why? It's because the heat mainly comes from the top part of the oven, which helps it to hit the surface of the item you have in there. And that creates a sear, which seals in the juices of whatever item you have inside the oven. And that's exactly what we're going for. We don't want our fish to dry out. We want it to gain caramelization and still have the juices inside the fish without it all draining out and leaving it dry. That will happen if you bake the fish, all right? So use a high heat, mainly coming from the top, which is called the broil option, and then flip it. And you see that the other side is not cooked. And once you have flipped all your fish, and I'd really like you to take a close look right now. See the juices still retained inside the fish. We didn't lose it. Most people have this misconception that the broil option causes loss of moisture. That was your proof right there. The moisture is still inside the fish. It does quite the opposite. Try it. You'll love it. You'll love it. It's almost like charcoal grilling your fish, really. You're going to get those caramelizations and it will, you will have a smokiness also to it. It is just going to be nothing short of perfection pretty soon. So you're going to baste the uncooked portion with the rest of the marinade and throw it back into the oven. Allow it to continue to broil for 12 to 15 minutes. Make sure that you're keeping an eye on it because the oven is extremely hot right now. So it might take a shorter time. Okay. So um, keep an eye on it and make sure that you get those golden brown bits. And that's your indication that your fish is cooked through. Remove it and it is ready to serve just like that right there. You see the fish is nice and plump. You can tell it's still juicy. No dryness has happened. Now, this um, bed of vegetables, I'm going to throw back into the oven because I really need it to also get some caramelization because caramelization is really flavor. I always say that. So throw it back into the oven for maybe five minutes only uh, and get those also caramelized. And it'll be all complete. Done ready to serve. Now, 
Take a moment and soak it all in. Look at the olive oil. These crunchy caramelized vegetables. The perfect accompaniment. And the most gorgeous, most comfortable bed these tilapia can ever lay on. You know, your girl is a happy one right now. Yes. I can I just cannot wait to serve my family this. Just perfection. Wow. I have my banku all lined up and a refreshing pineapple, strawberry, and rosemary with ginger infused lemonade. Yes, indeed. This recipe was inspired by um, a drink served at Over Easy, one of our favorite restaurants. So that recipe is coming up soon. So continue to stay tuned. And this plate right here is for this queen. Yes, don't you think the queen deserves to have the first serving today? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about that. <laughs> Even if you have a different opinion, I'll still like to hear it. Yes. Hey, the quintessential, another quintessential Ghanaian plate of comfort that just appeals to all the senses there are. I hope you get to try this recipe and be totally blown away as myself and my family were. Friends and family, it's tough time. Yes, the cook deserves to sit down and take a bite of this scrumptious dish. Don't you think it's an entire feast? Yes, my family is lined up and ready to go. I hope you get in the kitchen soon and throw it down just like this in the novice kitchen style. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Join the family. And of course, like the video. Why not? It is a beautiful video. And also share, share, share. I can't even stress that enough. Help support the family. Spread the word. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I thank you again for joining us today. I hope to see you soon in the Navis Kitchen. And as always, make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. <laughs>